Hey there, quirky folks. I'm your host, Anna, and with the departure of Henry Cavill as Superman, it is time to look at some new names that can play the character. James Gunn is starting fresh, and he specifically said that he'll be focusing on a young Superman. And since it is Superman we are talking about, taller young actors with a great physique would be preferable. So, all actors in their late 30s and 40s are automatically out of the picture. Popular casting choices like Matt Bomer, John Hamm, and Alexander Skarsgård have been discarded already. I would have loved to see Alan Ritson from Reacher become the new Superman, but again, he is 40 years old. So we've got to move forward and look at some younger names instead. Even amongst the youngsters, both Will Poulter and Richard Madden have been taken up by the MCU. And Noah Centino just played Adam Smasher, so I will not be adding them to the list. Reports have suggested that apart from James Gunn's new Superman project, J.J. Abrams' movie with a black Superman is still moving forward. So we'll be considering a few actors of color too. But before starting with our list, I'd love it if you show some support by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. With that being said, let's start with Jacob Elordi. This Australian actor totally fits the profile of a young Superman. Get that through your thick skull, the sooner you can... <laughs> We're not doing this. He is just 25 years of age and is amongst the fittest youngsters out there. He has showcased his talent in Euphoria and the Kissing Booth movies. On top of that, I believe that he has a great Superman face and he stands 6 feet 4 inches tall. He might have to get a bit more buff, but that could be done in a few months. So he'd be a great choice for Superman. But if you're not satisfied with this name, then we could maybe have Liam Hemsworth. The youngest Hemsworth brother hasn't been able to bag a huge mainstream role to this day. Make a break for it that way. But his fortunes could be changed very soon. He recently replaced Henry Cavill as The Witcher. What if he does that as Superman also? He is just 32 years of age and is even taller than his older brother, Chris Hemsworth. On top of that, he possesses a great Superman-worthy physique. So I'd say that he is another great contender to become Superman. People haven't always been a fan of his acting skills, but I've personally loved him ever since he showed up in The Expendables too. He has a lot of potential and roles like The Witcher and Superman could help him realize that potential for sure. But if you're not satisfied with this choice either, then I propose Henry Golding. Here's another tall pretty face who could be a pretty cool Superman. People have loved him since Crazy Rich Asians, but his casting as Snake Eyes didn't do him any favors. Now that could be changed if he gets picked up as the next Man of Steel. Okay, I'm bite. What's the punchline? The only thing that may not work in his favor is that he is 35 years old right now. He could still pass as a young Superman, but by the time we get the next Superman movie, he'd be around 37, 38, and that could get him discarded. So my next choice for the part is Alexander Ludwig. Yes, I know that he is a blonde actor, but that could be changed with wigs and hair color. Big man, I'm gonna need you to hurt some people. I'll pay for the therapy, all right? I'm gonna need it, seriously. Transition! The reason I brought him up is because he truly impressed everyone playing Bjorn Ironside in Vikings. Like the fire. His acting skills are top-notch, and besides that, he has got an insanely imposing physique. At just 30 years of age, he has all the makings to play Superman. So I'd love it if James Gunn and co. picked him. But looking into the Vikings universe, another great name could be Leo Suter. This 29-year-old plays Harold Sigurdsson on Vikings Valhalla. So we've already seen the talent that this Brit possesses. He also fits the profile of Superman being 6 feet 2 inches tall and having a great looking body. So I wouldn't mind if he ends up as our next Superman either. But if you're not fond of this choice, then I'd like to present Bill Skarsgård. He is amongst the most talented actors on this entire list for sure. After all, he played Pennywise and everyone loved him for the part. Where are you going yet? If you lived here, you'd be home by now. Come to the clown it. Many would think that he is too skinny for Superman, but I'd beg to differ after his great transformation. If only he could gain a bit more mass, he'd be another good choice for Kal-El. But if not him, then another actor I'd pitch for the list is Fabian Frankel. I have a strong belief that if actors are able to make people hate their characters to the core, then they are great actors. Jack Gleason did that for Joffrey Baratheon, and Lena Haiti did that for Cersei Lannister. Now, Fabian Frankel has also done that with his House of the Dragon role of Sir Kristen Cole. But I think that he could also go on to play Superman. Being 28 years old could really work in his favor. 
but what may not work for him is the fact that he is 5 feet 10 inches tall. I am not one to body shame anyone, but taller actors are usually preferred for Superman. If James Gunn could look beyond the height factor, then Frankel could be a good choice. And if that is the case, then another great pick could also be Taron Egerton. He has proven his talent time and time again with projects like Kingsman, Eddie the Eagle, Rocketman, and the recent series Blackbird. He is also just 33 years old, so age is in his favor for becoming the new Clark Kent. If people involved with casting could look beyond his height, then he would be an amazing pick to be DC's new leading man. And another actor who presents a similar case is Alden Ehrenreich. That's why I'm here. I'm working on that, yeah. He played the young Han Solo in Disney's prequel movie. That movie didn't work well, but his portrayal was still pretty good. The 33-year-old hasn't been in another major project since. But maybe Superman could be the role that would turn his career around. With him, I am ending the list of white actors for James Gunn's movie. And now I'd be looking at J.J. Abrams' Superman movie. So my first choice for that is Michael B. Jordan. Back in 2018 and 2019, there was a lot of talk about Michael B. Jordan becoming the new Superman. It has been reported that Jordan had pitched his idea for a Superman movie in early 2019, but he didn't commit to the role as Warner Bros. wasn't looking to film it for several years. When asked about starring in a Superman movie, he replied that he'd like to play the comic-accurate version of Black Superman. Instead of a raised bended Kal-El, he wanted to play Calvin Ellis or Val Zod from DC's multiverse. So, a Val Zod series was also put into development. But that may not happen under James Gunn, so maybe he could be cast in J.J. Abrams' Superman movie instead. But if he doesn't agree, then I'd choose Trevante Rhodes. Over the last few years, Rhodes has been playing significant supporting roles in films like The Predator, Guelph Strong, and Bird Box. We saw his best performance in the Oscar-winning feature, Moonlight. And he did remarkably well portraying Mike Tyson in a recent series on Hulu. Is that who I am? So Warner Bros. Discovery could definitely consider Rhodes as their new Superman. Now my last choice for this list is Reggae Juan Page. You can carry on with that. He became a huge deal after Netflix's Bridgerton turned out to be a major success. Although, it is quite sad that he left the show. But his fans might love it if he ends up playing Superman. He surely has what it takes to play the part. In fact, the more I look at him, the more I want to see him as the next Superman. He'd be perfect, don't you think? Hit those like and subscribe buttons if you liked our choices. And do tell us your own choices for the next Superman in the comments. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.